but what you need is positive identification. The Hornet's naval designation was CV-8. Oh, there's the 8. There it is. Where there it is. is. Where? We got it. And there it was. This is it. This is Hornet. This is Hornet. This is Hornet. Well done. Got it in one. In a one huh? <laughs> Fabulous. We set up a video link from the Petrel to Richard Nowatsky in California. I can tell you now that the Petrel, the ship that we're on, which has been looking for the Hornet, has in fact found it. Well. We could even show him the gun he was on during the attack. Oh, let's see. This is right at the stern of the Hornet where you were stationed, correct? Right. If that's the farthest one half, that, that was my gun. Looking at that now, does it seem like a familiar place? Yes, it does. I used to stand on the right side of that gun, and that's where my equipment was. Wow. Well, 77 years later, there it is. If you go down to my locker, there's 40 bucks in it. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Nowatzki has enjoyed a long life since that day, seeing the Hornet again and the evidence of the men who served a jacket hung on a hatch, somebody's wash kit complete with toothbrush, naturally made him reflect on those who hadn't been as lucky. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. There were a lot of them, and young guys. You know, I, I know I've been a very fortunate man. The actual fact that you can find these ships is, uh, is mind boggling to me. I wanna thank you for honoring me with this way. But it's the crew of the Petrel and us who were honored to find the Hornet and the final resting place of so many of her brave crew. So another wreck, another war grave is discovered. Its exact location kept secret to protect it. But the memory now has a place and the loss a memorial.